welcome back to my channel. Spring cleaning is at an all-time high right now, at least in my house, and I recently did a digital power hour cleaning all of my electronics. So today I wanted to share my top tips for how to have a digital power hour and clean up all of your online and digital technological life. Side note, for those that don't know what a power hour is, it is an hour, 60 minutes spent doing anything in your home. I recently did a power hour cleaning my entire house. I will link it up above in the cards. Without any further ado, here are my tips to have a successful digital power hour. And of course I wrote all these down because I'm the world's biggest list maker. I started and I recommend you start with your email. If your inbox or inboxes are flooded with everything from bills, social media notifications, to newsletters, I recommend, number one, turn off notifications. You do not need to know when your aunt or grandma liked the picture of your dog on Facebook. When you log onto the app, you're gonna see the notification anyway. That notification in your email is just junk, taking up space in your inbox. Turn off any and all notifications. Bills, this is pretty self-explanatory, pay them, archive them. You do not need to do what I do and wait till, you know, three days before the bill is due to pay it and then put it away. Pay it now, log it. Hopefully, and if you don't have this yet, I recommend getting it, have a folder in your email that you can archive all of your bills. Even just have a folder that's called paid bills or like mine that says adulting. Invites in the inbox, mark them on your calendar, whether it's your online or paper calendar and archive those as well. All in all, when it comes to your inbox, I recommend getting all the junk out first. Notifications, bills, newsletters, invites. Get them all sorted out and away. Some people want to get their email inbox down to zero, but I like to have at least 10 or less. And of those 10, they are usually conversations that are not finished yet. So if I'm having like a business discussion with somebody and I want to remind myself what was said and discussed previously, I will leave them in my inbox. But when that conversation is resolved and we have a plan going forward, I will archive them. All in all, having a clean inbox is kind of like having a clean desk. It just makes you feel better, less stressed and overwhelmed, especially when you log in. You don't see anything there. Everything is out of sight, completed and out of mind. And my tip for in the future, when you do have things come in, don't do what I do and wait until you have 147 items in your inbox. When you get things immediately, resolve them and archive them. That way at the end of the day, you don't need that extra half hour to go through everything. You get them as they come in. After I completed my email, I moved on to my cell phone. My cell phone, it's very red. The first thing I cleaned out on this cell phone were my voicemails. And I had like 38 voicemails. And just like your notifications, once you get the information that you needed in your voicemails, delete them and clear them off of your phone. You actually wouldn't believe how much space voicemails take up on your phone, especially if you have a lot of them. The same goes for your text messages. You do not need to keep all 75 text messages from all of your friends at one time. If it's old, delete it. If it has some pertinent information like a party or an upcoming event, write it down in your planner and put it away. It's kind of like your emails. Any kind of messages, archive them, resolve them, delete them. And then I challenge you, I just did this and I challenge you to do this too. Go through your contacts and delete 10 people that don't need to be there. Do you really need that girl you met at a college party six years ago? You don't even know her last name, where she is in the world? Delete her. It actually feels refreshing when you kind of revamp your contact list and your phone and you don't need them. I also recommend, this is not having to do with spring cleaning, but I'm gonna throw it in here anyway. If you get calls from, like for my example, I get calls from my alma mater asking for money. So what I do, if they call or somebody else calls that I do not want to answer, I will actually add that number to my contacts under do not answer. And underneath do not answer, I will say who they are so I know not to answer. Might not be the nicest thing to do, but it's better than me answering, trust me. Number four on the list of cleaning out your phone are unused apps. If you have apps that you have not touched in more than I would say three to four months, you could probably live without them, or better yet, if you need them again, you can re-download them. But really try to keep the smallest amount of apps on your phone as possible. It'll take up the least amount of space, your phone will run more efficiently, and you'll have just less junk that you have to look at 
on your home screen. That would be dramatic if I pulled up mine. It wasn't. And the last thing I did when cleaning out my smartphone was to move all my videos and pictures off of my photos onto either my laptop or my external hard drive. Um, photos and video, just like voicemail, take up a lot of space. Get them off your phone and into storage wherever you store your items. Also, side note, what I just found out is my podcast take up a very large, unexpectedly large amount of space on my phone. So I recommend if you do listen to podcasts, go through and delete ones you've already listened to or have no interest in listening to, because I think I had like 2.5 gigabytes in just podcasts. So make sure you clean those up too. And the final item in my digital power hour was my computer. First things first, empty your recycling bin. I know we don't see it as taking out the trash on a weekly basis, but first thing before you even touch anything else on the desktop, delete the recycling bin. Next thing is to look at your desktop. Do you have random things you don't use? Screenshots that you thought were funny but already sent? Delete those. Items that can be filed away somewhere in storage? Get them there. Clean up your desktop so you don't have a bunch of icons that just kind of take over the desktop when you look at it. Clean up your desktop so it's not a huge, you know, iconic mess. See what I did there? Iconic. And it, it just looks organized and clean. Trust me, you will thank yourself for doing it. And just like your cell phone, move any of your files onto an external hard drive if you don't need them. Free up that space. Just like your cell phone, your computer or laptop will run more efficiently if it's not stuffed with all these unused files. Also, check your downloads. I think sometimes we get excited when we download either like music or an application or software and we've used the software and we deleted, we delete our product off of our desktop, we don't delete the files in the downloads. I recently found like over 500 files in downloads that I didn't even need. Songs I had downloaded, sheet music I had already moved onto the external, I had forgotten were in my downloads. So check your downloads folder. And rounding out cleaning up your computer, go ahead onto your internet and delete your history and your cookies. We don't know what those things are, click over to Google and do a little bit of search. Depending on if you use Firefox, Safari, Chrome, they all monitor and track your browser history. Your internet browsing software will run faster if you have cleaned up the history and the cookies. And of course, while cleaning up my digital power hour, I had a little bit of extra time, I would say about 10 minutes. I of course looked up other random things people looked at when cleaning up their digital space. They said, install updates you've been delaying for weeks. Check Facebook's hidden tab, message requests for people who aren't on your Facebook friends list. I'll do a video on that in the future because I've had a lot of people ask, how do I find messages from people who message me who aren't on my friends list? I'll help you out. Check whether you're overpaying for mobile internet or web services in your email if you get your bill sent electronically. Remove sharing buttons, links, or any irrelevant content from your desktop. And finally, clean up your desktop before each new year starts. When in doubt, just quickly hide all the icons on your desktop and see what you miss. That's a really good tip. But anyway, those are my tips for how to have a successful digital power hour. I hope you guys found this useful, especially if you're in the middle of spring cleaning. If you have anything you think I have missed or would help me in my digital cleaning, leave a comment down below. If you're new to this channel, click the little red subscription button down below. It'll update you each and every time I upload a video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.